everyone welcome back to the channel so it's been a while since i did a talking video the kids have been off school for two weeks for the easter holidays so they've been back about a week now so i've just been keeping on top of the housework because they create a mess when they're at home so i've been doing some housework been doing some little things for my coffee shop and today i'm going to be coloring in this one so this is hannah kelson's forest kingdom and this is going to be a buddy color with allison's coloring and creativity if you're not already subscribed to her, ch to her channel she is here on youtube go and check her out but before we do this page so it's a long time since i've colored an illustration like this and it's a very long time since i've used my derwent intense pencils so i'm going to do that today i don't have the full set of derwent intense pencils i was sort of purchasing them single stock at the time that i got into these so i've only got a really small amount really we've got those those and just those few there um so yeah i'm gonna be limited on color choices somewhat not too much but i think what should we go for should we go for some nice i'm thinking see the color on this little bootmark here the blues and teal kind of colors with the oranges that'd be really nice wouldn't it because i've got a really nice vibrant orange in this Derwent intense set it's called tangerine that's a really really nice one so i could mix that in with some golden yellow and create a really nice blend there and then i think i'll just pull out all the um teals and sort of bluey colors mallard green i don't know what that looks like green aquamar aquamarine we'll have that we'll have the dark aquamarine we'll have the iris blue that's a nice one um what have we got yeah oh, we'll have that cadmium orange as well i might mix some of that in with that really bright orange and then I've more blues somewhere, haven't I? Sea blue. Let's get that out. Sea blue. I don't think Lagoon's the sort of blue I'm going for. Um, this one might be bright blue. I wonder what that's. I don't know where my swatches have gone for these. <laughs> Which is probably a mistake because these go down very different to what they look like on the tips. Deep indigo. What's this one? I am blue. I think I remember that being a nice one. And then we've just got purples there and what's this one gray so yeah i'll just use it what's that color there red oxide no i don't want that right so i've just pulled out a handful of pencils here got all these blues teals and a couple of oranges and a yellow so we're just gonna go in on these i think this one definitely needs sharpening so i'm gonna use my electric sharpener if you want to take your earphones out for a second or turn the volume down I'll be doing that now. Warning, warning. Very noisy. Very noisy. But it's really good. It's the best sharpener I've had. Best sharpener I've had. Until it breaks anyway. I'll let you know if it breaks on me. But at the minute, so far, so good. It's, for anyone interested, it's this Temwin. Now, there's different designs. This one's the little astronaut design because I just thought it was super cute. But there's different designs and it's just sort of this shape put your pencils in there collect your sharpenings there you just twist this off to empty it it needs emptying at the minute but yeah so yeah let's get in on this let's do some colouring you know what I don't like about these new Hannah style books the ghosting that comes through I mean I've got a let me just show you I've got a kneadable eraser and if you just go over with that well normally oh my gosh what's I put on the page what is that on my eraser well don't be doing that but normally if i go over it does kind of no you know what that is true ghost and it's not the ink what's transferred sometimes you can get a bit of ink i think this is ink transfer here so if i go over that little bit there you can see i've erased that line what were the so that's the that's a bit of ink transfer but this one's true ghosting from the other side it's just like it just bugs me it really bugs me because you can really see it anyway enough about that let's just get on with it <laughs> let's get on with it so i'm going to start off by doing the body and the yellows and oranges so i'll go in with yellow first we'll go in with golden yellow and we'll just put a light layer over everything i think now some people with these pencils they like to put one layer down activate it 
what's getting caught on there? Oh, it's that from the other side. It's acrylic paint. Oh, no. This is the problem you create for yourself if you're silly like me. I put acrylic paint there, so now it's creating this bobbly effect on this side. Now, when I add the water, hopefully that'll disappear. That's the good thing about that I've used these pencils, I suppose, rather than regular pencils, because that might disappear when I add the water. Hopefully, fingers crossed. But I really didn't think this through, did I? Anyway, what was I saying? <laughs> what was I saying before I got distracted? Oh, some people with the Derwent ink tents, they like to put one layer down, activate it with water, allow it to fully dry and then go back in with another layer. I like to put them all down to start with. So like that, I've just put down the golden yellow and then without activating that, I'll just go straight in with my tangerine and I want this at the edges. So I'm just going to go straight over the top with a bit of tangerine at the edges. Oh my gosh look at that bumps <gasps> why do i think these are good ideas i've not colored in this boot for ages so completely forgot that was on the other side and do you know why i did it because the gel pen i was using at the time it wasn't going down it wasn't very opaque at all and i thought oh i'm just gonna get the acrylic paint out here for these spots so that's what i did did a big blodges of white acrylic paint and now I've got all these bumps on my uh, picture here. <laughs> At least you can all see that we all make these silly mistakes. So there's a chance. I mean, I think it'll go away when I add the water, but there's a chance that it won't. And if it don't, it's what it is, isn't it? It is what it is. So that is where I want to be with that and now I'm going to activate it. So when I activate this, I'm going to start off by activating the lightest colour. So I'm going to start in the centre and then I'm going to work my way out. So I've just got a little microfibre cloth at the side of it just so I can dab off my brush. I've got some water in a jar here. I'm just going to pick out a paintbrush. I think we'll use the Fumi, Fumiwi brushes today. They're quite nice, these Fumiwi brushes. They're quite a budget friendly brand as well. Now normally your brush would say Fumiwi on it. But mine came without it on and they did have a number on and the number rubbed off. So I don't know what size, I can't tell you what size it is unfortunately. I think it might be a four or something. <laughs> no idea. I'm going to add a bit of water, not too much, and I'm going to start off in the centre. So the good thing about doing ink tents, I find, is that they're so vibrant. Like when you put them down dry, they look a lot less colourful. And when you add the water, it's just like a pop of bam. Bam in your face. Now, I'm not too fussed if I go over these white circles because that will probably be a gel pen job at the end. You know, adding little um, colours at the end. So you can see I'm just going into the lightest areas first and then I'm going to clean my brush off, just dab it to the side and then we're going to start with the edges. So then we're going to pull them in. If you find it goes in too far you can just lift some of the water that's why i like to have the microfiber cloth at the side of me because i'm constantly dabbing it i'm not too fussed about going over the lines as well i've gone over a few little times over here but that will be covered up in the background i'm not sure if i want to do a background yet but you won't notice that when it's all coloured. It's all good. So yeah, I thought I'd just come on and do a little colouring chat today. Just have a little catch up before we go back into the colour alongs. The next colour along will be another one in uh, small vic victories, I think. I've missed that book. I did one colouring page when I was sat on the couch the other night. And it was a really tiny... Um, illustration it was one of the pages where they've got the really teeny tiny illustrations on so it's not one I would have done on the channel anyway it would have been really hard to get the camera zoomed in on something so small so yeah but that's the only colouring page I've done this month um, I started a page in a new colouring book that Castle Art has sent me and um, they've got a new colouring book out called The Amazing Butterflies which is a gorgeous book but I find them 
quite expensive because castle arts are supposed to be budget friendly aren't they um the pencils are budget friendly and um the coloring books are almost more expensive than some of the pencils <laughs> which is bizarre it's a bit bizarre but it is a nice book i'm not gonna lie it's a nice book and if you like butterflies it's a win-win isn't it it's a win-win if you like butterflies you can't you can't go wrong with it there we go so that's the body not sure should i continue the legs and make the legs orange as well i'm kind of thinking it might be a bit weird if i do them a different color yeah i'm gonna go back in with the orange maybe a different orange see if that's any different so maybe use the cadmium orange and the yellow yeah so i'll put golden yellow down at the bottom i think i think we'll just have orange starting at the top here and then working way down into a yellow so i think the yellow can just be at the bottom and then sort of blend in a bit there. A bit like an ombre, I think. Well, speaking of ombre, I don't know why I thought of the hairdressers when I said ombre. Because I'm not having an ombre at the hairdressers, I'm having a full colour. But I finally booted myself into the hairdressers. Because um, it's been way too long since the last time I went. And I'm going back copper again. I'm having my copper hair back. Because I miss it. What I've got at the moment is a blonde balayage, but my roots have grown out that much. It's like halfway down my head now, my balayage. <laughs> so I'm going back to, I'm going to start at the bottom at this yellow. So I'm going back to my copper, my full head of copper. The good thing is with the, the Durant Intense as well, you don't have to add, add much water to them. Deactivate quite easily with just a little bit of water. Emergency vehicle coming past my house in a minute. Just heard it. Hey, you run miles away of me. I've got, I must have good ears. That's all I can say. I must have good ears. So I'm thinking I'm going to use them yellows and oranges in the wings as well. And then the leaves, I will do the teals and blues and this bit up here, I think. So I'm going to go in with my golden yellow again. And I'm going to start off at the tips of the wings, I think, because we'll do that. We'll leave the tips of the wings yellow and then this bit orange at the top. Sort of do a little transition there. See, I find if you're really in a bit of a rut with colouring, a bit of a colouring rut, I find doing something that's a bit simpler, more satisfying. So something like this where it's just, you don't have to be too meticulous about the shading because as soon as you put that water down, it just does it for you more or less. I told you I heard that emergency vehicle about half an hour ago. <laughs> Slight exaggeration, but. Yeah, but it's it's more mindless because you can just throw the colour down. You don't have to be careful about it. Just throw the colour down and then, yeah. I love it. I think I was inspired to get these out when I saw, um, I think Colour Me Stress Free put a, um, a page she was working on on her Insta Instagram stories. And it was watercolour, I think. I might be wrong. It was some sort of warm, water medium. She'd used it, look gorgeous. I think that was a Hannah Kelsen page as well, actually. So I'm just going to do the other side as well, because why not? And then we can activate it all together. But there's going to be a lot of gel pen on this page as well. Like, there's a lot of fiddly bits around here where I'll probably just get either my gel pens or my metallic watercolours might, might be nice to use there as well. And things like the bits on the edge here, a gold Posca might be nice on something like that. But yeah, I think some people use these pencils dry as well. You know, they don't activate them. I've never done it myself, but... I suppose if you do that and left it like that, then you're leaving it susceptible to being ruined if if water does accidentally get onto your page. I don't know. How would that work?
I tried using the direct ink tents on a t-shirt once um because my daughter's school were doing it you know when they send them home with them tasks like design a t-shirt for such a charity day or and go in school with it i tried them on a t-shirt once and they, they didn't work out the best i was expecting good things and uh maybe it was just my lack of skill with them on on material i was like what is happening but yeah now i'm going to do the tangerine i'm just going to pop the tangerine at the top section pull it down with the darker colors you don't you really don't need much color down at all because it will activate really well the darker colors yeah so i've been even though the kids have been off school and i've not done any coloring i feel like i've been quite productive <laughs> with making things for my coffee store so if anyone would like bookmarks art prints stickers the link is in my description of this video and you can go and check it out if you wish to do so but i've loved making them it's like i don't know i've only sold i've only made two sales so far <laughs> poor little me i've sold a set of two bootmarks and i sold a hummingbird art print um these are some of the bootmarks so we've got the you can't see them because i've packaged them up but that was my capybara painting that i did what i've made into a print they all come with my little um stamp on the back as well now i did two sizes in the strawberry because i really liked it you can't see it very well with that tassel in the way but this was my strawberry painting with the chocolate it's the strawberries and chocolate and i did two sizes i did my standard size and then i did a little mini one so it's a little mini beat mark it's only slightly some slightly smaller it's a little bit not as tall so i did that one and then you might have seen the lemon and limes oh these tassels so they're the lemon and limes tassel colors may vary as well lemon and limes and then we did another mini beat max this is another mini one and the tassel's covering up half of the painting but this was my hummingbird so his wings up there as well this is my happy place on that one and then we did a beat mark of my lily painting so that was my lily painting that I did on the Pantone card. And I popped it on there. I love the colours in this one. The mint green is really, really pretty on that one. Yes, yeah, so there's just some of the beat marks. I was playing around trying to get my ostrich painting on one, but it's not coming out. It's not it's not turning out as a beat mark, basically. So, so some you know work like that some paintings only work as a painting and don't work on other things you just have to play around and see what works but i am going to do a watermelon bootmark next when i've got a moment <laughs> when i've got time to paint a new painting i'm going to do a watermelon one and then i've got a book one prepped as well i don't know if i've already showed you these so so this is the watermelon I've got prepped. Looks a bit like pizza slices at the minute, but it's watermelon slices. Be really pretty when it's done. And then this one is going to be a stack of books with a plant. So if we've got any plant and boot ladies in the house, <laughs> you might like those ones. But yeah, it's just finding time now. In between school runs and after school clubs, you know the score. Oh, yesterday was a nightmare. Was it yesterday? No, Tuesday. Tuesday. Because um, on Tuesdays, I have five children, just for reference. <laughs> and um, three of them go to one school, one mainstream school. And then I have another daughter at a special needs school. And I have one at high school. I don't need to pick her up. She brings herself home. But <laughs> the two youngest I picked up on tuesday at quarter past three and then i had to be at my daughter's special needs school to pick her up at four o'clock because she was doing an after school club 
So I went from quarter past three at one school to four o'clock to another school. And then I had to go back to the first school to pick up my eldest, well, my middle daughter, who was at netball club for quarter past four. So I had to, it was like quarter past three, then four o'clock, then back to the other school for quarter past four. And I was like, oh, it's just a lot. <laughs> And then you're trying to get a quick tea done then because you're like, you get in the house and then you've got to sort all the teas out. That's dinner for you what have lunch and dinner and not dinner and tea. <laughs> in the south, they have breakfast, lunch and dinner. And in the north, we have breakfast, dinner and tea. That's how it goes. That's how it goes. Right, so now we've got the colour down there, we can activate that. I'm really liking using these. It's just a lot more mindless, like I said. Let's move that there. I've got my long sleeve top on today. It's gorgeous, this as well. Most gorgeous top ever. It's one of those bodysuits. You know what you can wear under jeans? And I love them because if, you, <laughs> if you're a mum, right, and you like wearing jeans, you'll know that jeans are not always the best fit. And sometimes when you're bending down to, I don't know, put your kids' shoes on at a play centre, the bum can sometimes hang out. I'm not, I'm not going to beat around the bush here. Sometimes the jeans ride down and that occurs. But with when you wear bodysuits underneath, that doesn't happen because you're obviously all covered up, aren't you? <laughs> so I love a bodysuit under a jean. I do love a bodysuit and these ones I've got from a company on, I found them on TikTok and I think they're called Moose Lover. I'm sure they're called Moose Lover, it's, a very, it's quite a strange name actually. Moose Lover. Now when they've got the sales on, they're all right pricing. I wouldn't pay full price, Um, I've seen the full price and I wouldn't pay full price but these was marked down and I ordered them but the brilliant quality. Now they've arrived, I know why they're so expensive when the sale's not on. Because they're really, really nice material. They really do pull you in. It's a really, really thick, stretchy material. And it really nips your waist. They really nip your waist right in. My jeans was actually baggy on me. <laughs> and they've got a zip up the front as well. They've got a nice zip at the front, which I really like too much water on there so yeah I got this nice cream colour one which is a long sleeved top and then I got a bright pink one which is short sleeved for when it gets a bit warmer inside and then I think I'll look for some lint some nice linen pants soon when it gets hot for this summer nice linen pants there's nothing worse than leggings in summer <laughs> i don't care how many websites say that their leggings or claim that their leggings aren't see-through right as soon as the sun shines on the back of those leggings they're see-through trust me they're see-through I can't, I can't do it. I can't wear leggings. <laughs> so it's linen pants or still jeans for me. Or maybe some loose joggers. Something like that. I ain't half waffling today, am I? You can tell I've uh, not been on for a couple of weeks. I've always got lots to say. That's a good thing. It's nothing worse than coming on and not having nothing to say. Although, I have seen, I'm on a few like colouring pages on Facebook, you know, they're colouring groups. And I've seen quite a lot of people comment saying they don't like the videos where people don't shut up talking or they talk too much. <laughs> it's made me conscious. Sometimes I do and sometimes I don't. It just depends, like I say. We've not all got massive amounts of things to talk about all the time have we but when we do
And then other people say, oh, well, I like the talking. It's like having a friend in the room while I'm colouring. So I suppose it's that little old thing of you can't please everybody, so just do you, isn't it? You can't please everyone, so just be yourself. Do what you want to do. And people will either watch or they won't. So you might control that. Oh, I'm loving this. I forgot how vibrant these ink tents are. Beautiful. It's so easy to work with as well. So now we've caught, sort of, not caught of, sort of, got the um, colours down that I want there. I think I'm going to start on these leaves at the bottom with the blues. I'm not sure <laughs> what kind of blues these are. Is This is going to be um what to call it this is gonna be like take your pick and i don't really know what the color's gonna come out like on the page <laughs> i'm thinking maybe something like that that's a really nice tealy greeny color mm. <laughs> i don't know <laughs> and then i don't know I don't know what colour. I could have really done with the swatches for these. I could have really done with the swatches. Should we mix up some blue in there as well? Should we have not an iris blue? Where's that iron? Iron blue is quite dark though, is it? Oh, let's just go for bright blue. Let's go. <laughs> I don't know what they're going to look like on the page. That's the thing. That's the thing. Right. Let's just go for it. Just go for it, Kirsty. Just go for it. So I'm going to put this one, teal green, on the tips, I think. Should we do that on the tips? I'm going to ignore this bit here. I'm just going to do the green on the tips and then the bright blue on the bottom. And blend it in like that. I'm going to totally ignore that little bit in the middle. Because if I want to do anything to sort of pull that out at the end, then I'll just add some um, metallic watercolour or gel pen over the top if I want to create any detailing. But I think to try and get in on all those little bits first with different colour is just a bit of a nightmare. So I'm going to do it like this. So I'm going to have a teal green on the tip. And then blue. But I have noticed though that those little lines that were caused by the acrylic paint on the other side, they have disappeared with the water. So isn't it lucky that I decided to use these pencils? Because if I'd have gone in with regular pencils, I'd have had all these marks all over it. I'd have had to stop what I was doing, I think. Because it would have just been horrific. Oh, yeah. I think with something like this, you get the ugly stage. This is the ugly stage right now. You're probably thinking, what is that? But you know, it'll come good in the end. My postman pat is due today as well, so if the doorbell goes, I will have to rush off to the door. I'm bringing my daughter's meds today, I think. We have them delivered because it's just easier. It's easier to have them delivered. I hope that blue is nice when it's activated. <laughs> I don't know. I really don't know if I've picked the wrong blue right here, but it is what it is. Can't remove it now. It's tough. 
really tough now. Went on that one. Oh, I started Slimming World yesterday. For those who do not know, Slimming World is like, it's just like a slimming club over here in the UK. Basically, they have weekly groups where you can go and get ideas for meals, healthy low fat meals, and then you get weighed, obviously. <laughs> See if you've lost any weight. Because I need to lose three stone. I think it's about three and a half stone, actually. Yeah, so yesterday was the first time I'd gotten the scales in a while and I was like, what? <laughs> shock horror. The shock. So yeah, I've not had anything to eat today yet. What time are we? What time are we? 11. Five past 11. I've not had anything to eat yet. But I think once I've got off here, I'm going to make some eggs on toast. It's a nice healthy brunch isn't it i'll just not butter my toast <laughs> i could put butter on it but i'd have to count it as some of my daily allowance or sins as they call them at slimming world I'll just put a little tiny drop of tomato sauce on, I think. I'm going to activate this side before moving on to that side, just so we don't get too bored of me doing the same thing over and over. We'll activate it and see what it looks like in a second. Hopefully it'll be nice. <laughs> Fingers crossed. And there we go. Oh, let's get our water ready. And again, I'm gonna activate the lightest color first. So I'm gonna go on the tip of the leaf. Have my brush off. I'm curious to know what this blue looks like activated. It's the only thing. <gasps> oh, that is quite a nice bright blue. I'm being quite careful because if I go over the lines with the orange like I did, it's not too noticeable. But if I kept keep going over the lines with the this blue because it's so vibrant, it is gonna look very noticeable. So unless I've got any plans for a background to cover anything up, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing in the background, if I'm honest. No idea. Oh, there's been so much happening in the town where I live at the minute. So much happening. Um, apparently this made the news in Australia as well right so let me know if you're in Australia and this made the news in Australia let me know so local to my town where I live there was a sort of um, what was it being delivered it was on the back of the back of a crane and it was like one of them storage containers what football clubs use to store all the you know all the stuff and it was being lifted over a house onto the feet onto a field at the back. But this vehicle with this crane on has toppled over, and then this container unit has gone straight into this house. I've gone over a bit as well. I'll do a background on this. I don't know what yet, but I'll do some sort of little background. Uh, yeah, it's gone straight into the house. But there was a kid in the garden playing and luckily she got in the house in time she was on a bike in the garden right where it came crashing down 
little girl. I thought, oh my gosh, in the video, because they got the ring doorbell footage of it. So yeah, if it's been on the news where you live, <laughs> that's nearby. It's like the next town to where I am. And then the other day, no, it was last week now. Um, a house was all cordoned off because they found baby's remains. Which is just, when it's in the town where you live, it's shocking, isn't it? It's shocking. It said five people have been arrested between the ages of 20 and 70 years old. I'm covering up a, a death or something, but it's not released any more information yet at the minute. But yeah, that's happened. And then two nights ago, at a local supermarket, there was an accident where a woman's suffered a serious injury, a worker suffered a serious leg injury. That's why I have emergency surgery. And it's the way it's been reported, it sounds as though she might have lost a leg. I'm just thinking, what else can happen in this small town of ours within the space of, I don't know, a few weeks? It's a bit grim. Yeah, I think I might put the metallic watercolour in the background of, of this page and just splash it on in between the leaves. Or maybe, it's definitely something. Because I can't avoid going over the lines here for whatever reason. <laughs> Maybe I'm just a bit clumsy. But I keep going over the lines a little bit. I think that's the biggest one there. <laughs> right, let's pull that colour through a little bit like that. So, has anybody been doing anything exciting? Have you got any new supplies that you've ordered? Has anyone actually ordered the Derwent Chroma Floor 150 set? <laughs> I've not, but the only reason I've not is because it's just not in my budget at the moment. I can't be affording to go and buying them at the minute. But I would. If I had spare money, I would definitely go and buy them. Definitely. I'm curious to know. I'm going to look out for a video, actually. I'm curious to know what the other colours are. What the colour range is on them. But there's a fair few new books out as well. Has anyone seen the Lily Dooley? Uh, well, what's it called? Is it called Floribunda Year? Or Floribunda Year? And it's a compilation book of a flower year book and the Florib under um yeah it's quite cute i have the flower here but i don't have floribunda, bunda so it probably would be worthwhile me getting it it says it's a new format as well so i'm not sure what the difference is there Yeah, if if you've not got any of them books, that'd be a really nice one to buy, I think. That's available for pre-order now. And I think the release date was was it sixteenth for May? Something like that. It was it was May. Oh, my neighbours as well. They knocked on the door the other week. Um, said they've been having issues with the chimney. Um, water leaking in the house. Um, and would I mind if they got rid of the chimney and capped it off? So I don't mind because we don't have gas fires or anything over here anyway. It's all electric, so we don't need the chimney. Um, so I think they're going to be doing that at some point. 
So when they do come and do that, I imagine it's going to be really noisy. <laughs> so when that does happen, I don't know how long it'd take. Hey, very long do you think it'd take not down a chimney? Do you think it's just like a one day job? Um, But yeah, so the day that they come do that, I'll not be able to film, will I? <laughs> I imagine that would be really noisy on the roof. I love these colours together. It's funny how something so simple can give you inspiration. They're cute, them little boot marks as well. These ones. I think this has got a bit more red in it. It's a bit more red orange, like blood orange in it. Would have been nice to put. Well, maybe I still can. Maybe I can put a bit of blood orange in here and then it can go into orange and then yellow on the end. Yeah, I might do that. Bit of a more of a reddy colour into orange there at the top. Just thinking out loud now, guys. Thinking out loud. I think that's a good plan. Oh, I can hear the car outside and that could be my postman. Or it could be next door's van. <laughs> oh, what is that? Let me go and have a nose. I've no idea what it was. <laughs> I heard a load of noise, but I couldn't see anything. It was really baffling me. Because I looked out of all the windows, the side window, the back window, the front window. I'm like, what is that noise? No, nope, couldn't see anything. I'm a nosy so-and-so, aren't I? <laughs> I keep joking to my partner saying I should be in the FBI me oh these ones are getting fiddler oh fiddlesticks <laughs> I should have put my other nails on for this page. Would have fit right in. Where are they? Where are my nails? I'll show you my nails. I love these nails. I think I got these ones. They've got a little toucan on. How cute are they? I love these. It just saves me re-varnishing my nails every time I do a video because they just last about... Well, they last me about two weeks. Ten days to two weeks. Um, it says they can last up to three weeks, but they never last quite three weeks with me. Um, I do a lot of washing up and a lot of cleaning and a lot of doing stuff after the kids. So, yeah, they don't last the full three weeks for me. But if I can get more than a week, I'm happy that I don't need to change them every day or retouch them up every day. It saves me so much time. And they do offers occasionally, so when I purchased mine, they did the, um, I think if you bought three sets of nails, yeah, I think it was if you bought three packs of gel strip nails, you got a UV lamp free. But you have to add it to your basket. You have to add the lamp to your basket and then it removes the cost of it. So this is the little lamp. Cute little lamp as a finger cable, what do you call it? And you just pop it on the table and put your thumb under it. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing my nails. So that's oh, look at this sleeping gorgeous, isn't it? Let's pull it up a little bit so you can see a bit more of the whole page. I'm loving how this is turning out. Instead of doing that one next, I'm going to have a little go at one of these and pop some red in and see what it looks like. So, should we do? Yeah, let me get my pack of pencils out and see if I can find a nice red colour to go into this orange. I might only have one red. Is that poppy red? Poppy red, cherry red and scarlet pink. No, I don't want pink. So we've got poppy red or cherry red. I wonder what they look like. These. <laughs> I'm guessing cherry. Will cherry be more pinky or more dark? Hmm. Let's just go for the poppy red. I think that's the safe bet. I think that's the safe bet. 
So we'll start off with poppy red down here. That's going to be a really, really bright red. I can tell already. It's bright now, and when you activate it, they're going even brighter. So it's going to be like, whoa, fire. So I'm just going to bring the colour up there slightly. And then it'll go into orange and into yellows. Just gonna there. Sort of let it tail tail off the colour of it. Go. Then I'm going to add in the, where is it, tangerine. So I'm going to add a bit of tangerine into there. I'm going to leave a bit on the ends. I'll just put a bit throughout this red because we can sort of mix it in with that red. be yellow on the end add a bit more in there that'll be yellow that'll be yellow that's gonna go into yellow then I've not done this page as a colour along but I've done a lot of the parts of it if you wanted to colour along you've seen how I've done most of it there's just this bit in the middle I'm not sure what I'm going to do on that bit yet there is going to be quite a lot of gel pen there I know that much because it's just too fiddly to do absolutely everything with the ink tents in there Let's get some yellow down now. So we're going to use the golden yellow just on the tips. I think I definitely need to use these more often. I'm having so much fun using them <laughs> and it's getting the page done quicker than I would ever do with regular pencils. If I'd have done regular pencils I would have only done probably just this bit. <laughs> just this bit or either just the wings. Definitely want to got this much done. Let's pull that up. I'm going to start activating now, so I'll start activating the yellow section first. Let's get some water. And then once I've activated this, I think we'll call it a... We'll call it done. Well, not done, but this video done. <laughs> well, I did get a new phone as well. I updated my phone. It was due an update. And um, I've got one with a bit more storage now, so hopefully video longer videos won't be too much of a problem um yeah i think my old phone was 120 something gig this one's double that it's like 200 and something gig of storage this phone so fingers crossed I 
Now I've activated the yellow bit, so I'm just going to go ahead and activate the rest. So again, we'll start with the lightest. So we'll start with the orange. Let's pull that colour in. Clean the brush. I think this was a brilliant idea to pop that red in. <laughs> it's a nice little pop of some extra. What I found with these brushes as well, there's no fraying. Like even some of the more expensive brands, sometimes you can get a bit of fraying, and there's nothing with these Fumiri ones. Really nice. I'll try and find these exact ones and link them in the description. They're really lovely, actually. I got sent these ones from the brand. And they surprised me. They're far better than the De La Rainey Simply Range brushes. Those were horrific, them ones they sent me. Them De La Rainey Simply brushes. The gouache paints were nice, but the brushes were horrific. Oh, I love that. How pretty is that? So obviously I have gone over lines, but I'm going to pop some in the background so we won't, we won't see that in the end. We won't see it, <laughs> I promise you. So don't ever worry if you go over the edges a little bit. No one's, no one's sitting judging that. <laughs> Honestly, oh, there's always a way if it cover it up as well. I'm going to use metallic, back, uh, metallic paints in the background, I think. A little bit here and there. But yeah, I've really enjoyed just coming on, having a little catch up, a little chat. And I've really enjoyed using this dough and ink tents for a change. It's made a really big change. So yeah, this is my inspiration for the page colours. <laughs> they keep these bookmarks actually. They're from a company I got a planner from, a journal called Fabulous Planning. You can actually go onto the website and just order these. They're just like a little, a little bookmark. A little magnetic bookmark, but they're good for page flags. And then they're reusable, not like the sticky ones what you have to throw away. These are reusable, they're really nice. So yeah. Oh, but I will love you and leave ya. Until the next time, please do hit that subscribe, comment down below, and a big thumbs up as well. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, bye bye.